Start making yourself bothered about it now. That is the book that will take you into Jannah. It will take you into paradise. Al Quran hujjatul laka aw alayk. The hadith says this Quran will bear witness for you or against you on the day of judgment. So none of us want the Quran to bear witness against us that you know, this person did not want to listen to me unless I was recited in a rush. This person did not want to read me at all. Although I was in their phones, although I was with them wherever they went. What a great insult. Whereas if you want to go to Jannah, at least open your app. How many times do we open WhatsApp and, and WeChat and so many other things a day? And all these new uh, links that we have. We open it so many times, Facebook and Twitter, and we refresh it to see who messaged me and who didn't. But the messages from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala are also in the same phone. Do you know that? How many times do you see those? How many times do you listen? If I sent you a joke on WhatsApp or on, on your phone somehow, you would want to listen to it because it's a joke. It's going to make you laugh at the end of the day. But if I send you a verse of the Quran, you might say, you know what? So gloomy, so doomy. You just listen to the, the, the Imam starting and you switch it off and say, I, I shouldn't even have downloaded it. It wasted my, my uh, internet. It wasted the space in my phone and it took away my gigabytes. I'm paying for the service data. That should not be the attitude of a Muslim. We ask Allah to forgive us. That should never be the attitude of a Muslim. You need to develop a link with the Quran so that the Quran takes you into Jannah. You need to learn to read the Quran and its meaning so that it takes you into Jannah because it is the word of the owner of Jannah. That's the reason.